When you read this book, Jerusalem in the Quran, and when you listen to the lecture next Monday, then you'll know that the Jews had in their heart, as they still have to this day, this conviction that it is their destiny. Even after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had expelled them from the Holy Land, even after they had lived in the wilderness for 2,000 years, it is the conviction in the heart of the Jews that it is their destiny to liberate the Holy Land of non-Jewish rule. To return to the Holy Land not as tourists, no. To return to the Holy Land to reclaim it as their own. For 2,000 years the Jews had this conviction in their heart that one day this will happen. To restore in the Holy Land the state of Israel of Nabi Da'ud alayhi salam and Nabi Suleiman alayhi salam. And that the golden age will come back one more time. The golden age when that state of Israel of Nabi Da'ud alayhi salam and Nabi Suleiman alayhi salam was the ruling state in the world that that age will come back one more time and so the state of Israel when it is restored will eventually become the ruling state in the world this was the conviction of the Jews you and I from the Quran and from the Sunnah from the Hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, we would know about the magnificent deception of al Masih al-Dajjal who liberates the Holy Land in 19 19 19 19 liberates the Holy Land of non-Jewish rule who brings the Jews back to the Holy Land not as tourists but to reclaim it as their own between 1919 and 1948 who restores a state of Israel in the Holy Land in 1948 and convinces the one-eyed Jews that this is the Israel of Nabi Dawud Islam and Nabi Suleiman Islam. but of course it is not it is an imposter but they accept it and they embrace it and that this Israel is about to become the ruling state in the world replacing the United States of America those who differ with me who say well we never read this in our books where did he get this from this must be false my answer to them is just wait and see just wait and see